Hey guys, Evan from Stock Music Musician here, and today I'm going to tell you about the two main business models for music licensing. Um, recently I did a poll on my webpage or a survey about what you wanted to learn more about. It's still active and there's a link down there if you um, want to fill in. I'd really appreciate your feedback. I'm making this video in direct result to some of the results that I got. And I learned that a lot of you guys are interested in learning how to license your music. So this is going to be just a quick overview of the two major business models you can use to license your music. And they're going to be different for different people at different stages of their career. Um, so the first one is basically for more professional people, people with maybe fewer but professionally recorded songs, songs with really good vocals, that sort of thing. And that's basically where you go and pitch your songs directly to publishing companies who will then pitch the songs to music uh, music users, end users, such as like TV shows, commercials, those sorts of things. These people, these publishers will have contacts in the business and they will be able to help you get your music out there. Uh, this is really good for people that maybe only have a few but very high quality songs because you do have to individually pitch specific publishers, specific songs. So your songs, you're going to be wasting everybody's time yourself and the publishers, and then you're going to get a bad name if your songs don't, aren't up to snuff. Um, now, there's lots of resources you can look on online for how to find these publishers. Uh, HowToLicenseYourMusic.com is probably a really good place to start for this type of business model. I have tried it a little bit. I haven't had a ton of success with it, which is why I use the second business model. Uh, and for me, this has worked incredibly well. I'm, making a few hundred dollars a month on it and it keeps growing for me so what I do instead is I record my songs um, and I load them up onto a website that sort of acts as a clearinghouse imagine kind of like an eBay or an Amazon where my songs do have to be approved by the website just for quality and sort of content but after that end users can search directly for my songs on this vast website, you know, they can look for like upbeat rock song and hundreds of upbeat rock songs will come up and then if they like my song they can buy it directly and then I take a cut of the proceeds. So this model is better for people that are still learning how to record and write and produce. Maybe you don't have a professional studio or maybe you just have a large volume of songs that you want to get out there and you don't have time necessarily to pitch them all individually or you don't have the contacts that you need to start licensing them through a real professional publishing company. So if you're interested in learning more about the business model that I use, you can visit stockmusicmusician.com. Again, stockmusicmusician.com. And I've got a free video up there. It'll, it's about 15 minutes, and it tells you exactly the steps I take to license my music every month. Uh, well, to license my music whenever I license it, but then it automatically, passively gets bought by buyers all the time. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in learning more about music licensing, be sure to like and subscribe because I will be doing more videos on this. And if you want to get started today in licensing music, go to stockmusicmusician.com and sign up for that free video. I'll send it to you and you can get on your way. Thanks so much.